For five straight days, government forces have pounded the city of Homs in an offensive to solidify government control. Rebels in Homs are still in control of some of the neighborhoods, but the government controls the rest of Syria's third largest city. Homs is where some of the earliest protests against the government took place. If the government succeeds in taking it, it would be a severe blow to the rebels. The opposition says it wants more weapons. Our problem, we receive little. We didn't receive what is enough. At least, to, you know, we have 100 friends, 100 states supporting the revolution. And the regime has just two or three states, but they support him much, much, much better than what the, uh, our friends support us. Friends of the Syrian rebels complain that the opposition is divided. To do something about that, the leaders of the opposition are meeting in Turkey. They are trying to put their house in order by electing a new leadership and maybe even form a government in exile. But they are pressed for time. President Bashar al-Assad's forces have managed to regain control of many rebel strongholds in the past few months. In addition to Homs, government soldiers are going after the rebels in Dara, the southern part of Syria. All of this is taking a severe toll on people's lives. Families are struggling to get enough food to eat on a day-to-day -day basis, either to produce food or buy food. Because even if there is food in the markets, uh, the inflation rate is rampant, and that's causing a, a lot of hardship. The UN has warned that about 4 million Syrians don't have enough food. And that shortage, says the UN, is expected to only grow worse. Rula Amin, Al Jazeera, Beirut.